What is going on, y'all? Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com. And today I've got a little kind of product review unboxing thing for us. So this is a saliva collection kit and that focuses. And this is from Gene Food, Gene Food, MyGeneFood.com. They reached out to me and there's been a big surge in popularity of doing nutritional based protocols based primarily off of your genetic test. So basically your, your gene code. Um, so I've done a few of these. Actually, I've done one of these. I've done 23andMe and then I had um, one company reached out and they tried to, uh, they, they took my raw 23andMe data, plugged it into their system and then developed a meal plan uh, and a nutritional protocol for me based off of what my supposed genes were telling them. I disagree with their uh, interpretation because it said that I was basically not going to be able to metabolize fat very well and a ketogenic diet would not really work for me. I kind of proved them wrong. Real quick though on that, just because your genes tell you something, that doesn't necessarily, pr that doesn't mean that that's what's going to be, you know, fact for you. Like your environmental factors come into play in a major, major way. Um, but this company, I have never used their company before, Gene Food. So I'm excited to give them a shot. Um, this is what the uh, collection sample looks like. Basically, you have all the steps here. It's a saliva test. So it comes with a return shipment, um, return shipment envelope, shipping label, all you need. So I'm not going to spit into this tube on camera here, but I'm going to do that. Basically, um, steps here. First, you have to register your sample barcode on your supplier's website. Do not eat, drink, smoke, chew gum, brush your teeth, or use mouthwash for at least 30 minutes prior to sample collection. And then you're gonna collect your saliva using the volume, until the volume reaches the indicated red line. So that is via that little funnel tube there. Uh, remove the funnel and add preservation buffer to your saliva sample. Secure the cap tightly into the tube. Mix the buffer with your sample by gently shaking the tube. Place the tube in the provided return envelope. Apply the prepaid return label to the sealed envelope and mail it to the lab. So very simple, straightforward testing procedure. I went to their website, and one thing I really like about their website is, let me just show you real quick. Boom. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. My, my camera doesn't zoom in, but basically it's got this guide to genetic and nutrition. So it shows you all of the um, the SNPs and what the associated function is, all the gene SNPs and all the associated functions to those SNPs. So it breaks it down in good detail. So once you get your results, you can actually interpret those results and know why they're selecting what they're selecting. So I'm gonna take this and then I'm gonna do a follow-up video after I take this, after I get the results back and we'll just see what they say. We'll see if it's pretty close to what the other one said. We'll see if it's something totally different. We'll see if it matches up with what I'm doing from an environmental factor standpoint. Um, but I am excited to do this because genetics are very important. I, I put a lot of emphasis in genetics, but I don't let that determine my end all be all. For instance, it's kind of like an aura ring. You know, my aura ring sometimes tells me that, hey, you didn't get very much sleep last night. Maybe you should have a recovery day. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, you know what? I, I probably should have a recovery day. I haven't had a deload week in a while. Maybe I should take that into consideration and, and do like a, a lighter day today. Sometimes I get that information and I'm like, ha, I'll show you wrong that I have a crazy amazing workout. Genetics is kind of like the data that the Oura Ring's given you. It's giving you information and then what you do with that information is up to you. You can have a informed decision and then base your next actions accordingly. So that's what I'm gonna do with the genetic text here. And then when I get my results back, I'll probably do like a full-blown video review of the results, what information I should act on, which ones I'll probably not act on, and all that good stuff. So thanks to mygenefood.com for sending me this test kit. I'm excited to get you all the results, and I will be in touch. So check them out in the meantime.